A new poll gives Governor Hogan a higher approval rating than the past three governors, but doesn't raise questions about whether he can be reelected in 2018. WJZ is live. Political reporter Pat Warren takes a closer look at those numbers. Pat. Yes, those numbers indicate that there is some question as to how Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican in a heavily Democratic state, would fare in 2018. We've made this is the progress. state of the state. And I'm proud to report that the state of our state is strong. And so are the governor's ratings. Governor Hogan's approval rating in the Washington Post University of Maryland poll is 65%, higher than the three previous governors in post polling, but down from the 71% he enjoyed in September. Asked if they would support Hogan for a second term, 41% polled said yes, 37% would prefer a Democrat, a 7% increase over September. That may be a little misleading because the matchup is between a real Governor Hogan and an imaginary Democrat that the voters carry around in their heads. Political scientist Matthew Crenson says the greatest threat to Larry Hogan could be Donald Trump. How much of an influence will Donald Trump have in 2018 on Marylanders' decision when they vote? Exactly. The Donald Trump influence, for example, can be seen in how Marylanders feel about the travel ban. 65% oppose it, nearly half saying Hogan should speak out about it. But his strategy so far far has been just to stay away from Trump and keep quiet about him. Hogan has managed to fall on the side of the majority of Marylanders on the issues that we deal with. Yeah, he's a very different kind of Republican than, than Trump is. He's, he's very comfortable uh, uh, right now. Top ten states uh, the, in the question is what happens in 2018. Keeping in mind the Maryland economy is tied to the federal government, that too could impact 2018. And it so happens that Larry Hogan's highest rating in the poll is the job he's doing with the economy. Six out of ten Marylanders polled approve of it. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. Okay, Pat, thank you very much. The previous Republican governor, Bob Ehrlich, had a high approval rating but lost re-election due in part to the unpopularity of President Bush.